chapter 9, lesson 3 or would be addition and subtraction of lengths. So the next two lessons are actually applications of the past modules. So here, again, since it's addition and subtraction, our tool will be the bar models. So um, if it's word problems, we, it's important that we have our kids remember the use of the three bar models and the use of the number of things, items per uh, number of groups, items per group, and total items. Now, for now, since it's just addition and subtraction, it's the bar models. Okay, so our lesson comes from page 150. So on page 150, number three says, uh, Lisa took part in a 100 meter race. She ran 36 meters. How far was she from the finish line? So in essence, the bar model that they gave is a takeaway bar model. Now, why is it a takeaway bar model? It's because there's a 100 meter race and she has completed 36 meters of it. So that's a takeaway. So we're taking away the 36 meters. So this is 36. And the whole thing is 100 meters. Okay, so the question is, how far is she from the finish line? So what's missing is a part. So since what's missing is a part, this is a subtraction problem. So 100 minus 36. Again, you cannot take away 6 from 0, so we need to borrow, but we can't borrow from 0. Therefore, we go all the way to that 1. Borrow, regroup, borrow again makes this 10. So 10 minus 6 is 4. This is 6. So she is 64 meters away from the finish line. Now the second problem that we will do is problem number 4. So again parents, the only difference now is when we have numbers, it comes with a unit. So since this is length, the units will either be in meters or in centimeters. Okay, problem number four says, Jamie has a piece of cloth. It is 75 meters long. And G gives her an additional 86 meters of cloth. So this is an additional, so it's an add-on problem. What is the total length of cloth that Jamie has now? So Jamie started with, 75 meters okay then she was given so that's going to be solid okay so that comes from here and goes into there so that's why it's a solid line okay she was given uh, 86 meters question is how much does she have now so again what's missing is the Whole. So if what's missing is the whole, this will be an addition problem. So this will be, for consistency, we start with a bigger number. We add 75. Again, for consistency, we start with a bigger number and we add the 5. So we need 4 more to make it to 10. So we have an extra one making that 11. So in here, we need 2 more to get to 10, so we have an extra 5, so that's 15 plus 1 makes it 161. So clearly, parents, we are applying uh, learnings from the past modules. We need to remind our kids to be consistent so that they won't be stressed. These bar models are very useful if we know how to use them. So we got to make sure that when we teach our kids, we're confident so that the kids will understand it more. That concludes lesson 3 of chapter 9. See you in the next lesson.